the then we divide with some number uh, we take a number and divide with some other number and we get zero as a remainder and we call 30 is divisible by 10 we are calling 30 is divisible by 10 this is the concept we have taken a number and divided with some other number so uh, when we divided this number we got a result of 0 and we call 30 when we divided here we have taken dividend 30 so uh, the divisor is 10 so then we call 30 is divisible by 10 we got remainder 0 so that's the reason it's uh, let us take some other example here like 15 so divide by 15 so we get here 3 times 15 so 0 uh, so here we call 15 is divisible by 5 15 is divisible by 5 uh, so uh, we take 15 and divide by 3 so this is also divisible so 3 5 0 15 we call that here we call the dividend is 15 so that is the reason 15 is divisible by what we have divided uh, with a number is 3 so, so we call here 15 is divisible by 3 so this is a, a property of divisibility so let's take uh, some other number like uh, uh, two digit number can you choose any one of the two digit number yes I have taken 23 so okay 23 so let's see uh, is it divisible by 10 or not so divisibility divisibility by 10 so we have taken we have taken here the number is 23 so the number is 23 so let's divide by 10 uh, let's see uh, if it is divisible or not so when you take in 10 23 so we are, we are going to divide with 10 Divide with 10, we got the remainder or uh, 0 or not, let's see. So it's divisible by 10. 2 times, and then 20 we get, so 3 is the remainder. So it's, it's not possible to divide uh, next further. The reason is 10 is greater than 3, so it's not possible to divide. So 3 is the remainder, it's not completely divisible, so that's the reason uh, we say here. We get a remainder 0, we have discussed earlier, we get remainder 0, that we call it is divisible, completely divisible. If we get a uh, remainder something other than 0, then it's not divisible. So 23 is, is not divisible by 10 because we got 3 as a remainder. Let's take some other number like 70. I have taken 70. So is it divisible by 10 or not? Let's see. So we are dividing by 10. So here we know the 10th table, so it cancels by 7, 7 times of 70. So we got the remainder 0. So we can say that here uh, 70 is divisible by 10 because we got the remainder 0. So let's take some other number. Like uh, if you have taken 57, I have taken 57. So let's divide with 10. So when we divide by 10, so we get here. 5 times 50 so uh, this is 7 so we got 7 so for the it's not divisible because this 10 is greater than 7 so uh, divisor is greater than remainder so it's not possible to do so we got 7 is a remainder so uh, we can say that this is 10 is 50 sorry here 57 is not divisible by 10 because uh, 7 is a remainder so let's take some other number here 90. So let's divide by 10. So we get here when we divide with 10. So we get uh, 9 times 9 times are 90. So we get the remainder 0. So what we understood uh, this is 90 is divisible by 10. And by this example, what we understood is here when the, the number is having units is 0. Then we are getting the remainder 0. So when the number have 0 in the unit space, we are getting the remainder 0. So here, when in unit space they have other than 0, 
some other number other than 0. So we are getting not 0. So here, so we are getting a units place 7. We are taking 7 units place. We are not getting 0 as a remainder. So what we understood here, if a number, a two digit number or any other number having units place 0, then the number is divisible by 10. So this number is divisible by 10 and this number 3 it is, it is not divisible by 10 because its unit space is 3 and then here this number is divisible it's not divisible by 10 because its unit space is 7 by this example what we understood here any number uh, any number uh, having a unit space 0 then the number is divisible by 10 and any number uh, it, it's having uh, other than 0 in unit space it's not divisible by 10 so let's see uh, the invisibility property for 5. So let's take any number 23. We have taken a number uh, which is 2 digit number 23. So let's divide by 5. What will happen? We'll see. So then we are dividing by 5. So we get uh, here 4, 5, 20. And we get the remainder 3. We got the 3, uh, 3 as a remainder. So we can say that here. We, uh, 23 is not divisible by 5 because uh, 3 is a remainder here. That's the reason. Uh, 23 is not divisible by 5. So uh, let's take some other number. 35. So when we take 35 divided by 5, so it's divisible uh, by how many times? And it's 7 times 35. So we get 0 as a remainder. So it's completely divisible. So we say that 35 is divisible by 5 so uh, we have taken any other, any other number like 127 so let's divide by 5 so we got here uh, 5 divided by 5 2 times 10 so we get after subtraction it gets 2 here and check this 7 so we cancel by 5 times 25 and after subtraction we get 2 here so 2 is the remainder here we say that 127 is not divisible by 5. The reason is 2 is a remainder. 127 is not divisible by 5 because 2 is a remainder. Uh, let's take some other number. One thousand and five. So divided by 5. When we divide it 5, so it will cancel by 2, 10. There is a 0 after, so let's take same 0 and here in the quotient also 0 comes there. So after, we'll do subtraction and we get 0, 100 minus 100 is 0. So after 5, and then 5 table, 5 is 1 time, so 5, 1 zero 5, so we get 0 is the remainder. So 1005 is divisible by 5 because we get 0 is the remainder. Let's take some other number. 2016. When we divide it 5, so it will cancel for 4 times. 4 5 is a 20. And then, so when we take this one, or it's not possible to divide because this is 5 is greater than 1. So let's take the 6 also. Then we know that process of division. When we are taking two zeros. At a time, we we'll take 0 here. Uh, then let's try uh, 5 table 16. It's 3 times. So 3 5s are 50. We get after subtraction 1. So 200, 2016. The number we have taken is 2016. It's not divisible by 5 because 0 is a remainder. 2016 is not divisible by 5. The reason is 1 is a remainder. Okay, so let's take some other number. Two thousand and twenty. Let's divide by five. So we get here four times twenty. And there is a two. If we take that two, it's not possible to divide. So zero and zero. Every time we have taken. So two. And we take. 0 there, so how many times? It's uh, 6 4 times, 4 
minus 20. Then we get 0 as a remainder. And what we understood here is 2020 is divisible by 5. So by these examples, we can observe that 23 is not divisible by 5, 127 is not divisible by 5, and 2016 is not divisible by 5. So what we understand from this all the examples is that unit place is 3 and 7 and 6. The numbers which are odd numbers of sorry the numbers are which are 3, 7 and 6 are not divisible by 5 and when it is divisible the unit place is 5 it's divisible by 5 and unit place is 5 it's divisible by 5 and unit place is 0 it's divisible by 5 so what we understood here if a number is having a unit place 0 or 5 then it is the number is divisible by 5 the number is having a unit place 0 or 5 then it's divisible by 5 or it is having any other number other than 0 and 5 it's not divisible by 5 so finally what we understood uh, this is the concept number 1234 so is it divisible by 3 or not let's see first so when we are divided by 3 so what will happen here 4 times 12 so we will take this 3 down and uh, it's divisible by 1 so 3 so we got here uh, 0 then after we will take 4 and it's divisible by 1 time we get here 1 so 1 is the remainder it's not divisible by 3 so what we understood here, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, that is nothing but 1234 is not divisible by 3. Let's take some other number that is 1233. When we divide by 3, so that will be getting here 4 times 12. Then when we take 3, the remainder, and then 8 divisible by 3. So here, uh, it cancelled by 4 times, 4, 3 is at 12, we got 12 here, then when we take this 3 here, it, it, it cancelled by 1 time 3, so so 1 time 3 we got, then uh, after 0, it is take this 3, so 1 time, uh, 1 3 is at 3, so we got 0 remainder, so what we understood is 1233 is divisible by 3, and then let's, let's take some other number. One thousand five hundred thirty. We have taken. So let's divide by three. So so it cancels by 15, 15, 5 times. So three five is a fifteen. So let's take this three here, and then it cancels by one time one three.